Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of UTM Talks. I'm your host, Sabina, and today we're here at the Afghan Student Association. Okay, let's check it out. My name is Talwasa Akberi. My name is Lida Wattet. So what's your position in the Afghan Students Association? I'm the Sponsorship and Logistics Coordinator right now. And I'm one of the Social Events Coordinators. Well, I'm actually the president of ASA this year, but I've been with them for like three years. I'm a vice president this year at the ASA. Can you tell us a little bit more about the Afghan Student Association? Our main goal is to like have a space for Afghans to be able to like you know like have mentoring and like networking and just create like a really safe space for Afghans to be able to express their culture freely and be able to relate to others because I know um, that it's hard like first of all you come to university you might not know anyone and then you might feel lost and so it's like nice to have people that may have similar backgrounds from you but that's not the only aim we have like of course we're not just for Afghan students um, even now we have a bunch of non-Afghans in there it's because we really want to promote our culture on campus because um, it's something that we're all super passionate about, myself and my execs. What made you join? Um, I've had really good friends here and uh, I really wanted to help and bring out the community and help out with that. Like we really needed to have more events and present um, more people and, I, and that's why I joined. <laughs> I'm born here in Canada, but uh, my parents grew up in Afghanistan, and because of that, like, I have strong ties to the country. I've been there five times, and I really want to like bring my Canadian and my Afghan culture together. So that's what made me want to join, just to have like this space where I can, you know, be myself, my Afghan side and my Canadian side, you know, and just be able to be so proud about it. Because um, honestly, there's not a lot of Afghans around, and so I really needed that like connection to have some people to be able to relate to, and also I joined because I want to do something about Afghanistan. Like I said, the perception is super important to me. Uh, I want to educate people about it. Sometimes, you know, when I was growing up, people wouldn't even know what Afghanistan was. Yeah. They'd be like, where are you from? I'd be like, Afghanistan. They'd be like, what's Where's that? that? <laughs> um, so I really want to change that, you know? So that's why, like, by being a part of a club like this, and I can tell people I'm part of the Afghan Student Association, they'll be like, oh, so, you know, there's an Afghan Student Association. So, yeah. So can you let us know a little fun fact about your culture or an interesting fact? Well, there's a lot of interesting stuff in our culture, um, but um, I think it's a um, it's beautiful. Um, it brings the community together. Everyone likes to help each other out. Um, if you ever just do some Google search, um, or if you go on Pinterest, you should be able to like if you just Google or sorry, if you search um, Afghanistan, Kabul, or any of the cities or provinces, you'd be able to find all sorts of photos, beautiful photos too, um, of you know like dances and the food and the rest of the culture, like clothes and even just nature itself. Like it's a beautiful place, and there's a lot of beauty within the culture itself. Like it, it likes to bring people together and help each other out. That's the main focus of the culture for sure. So our food is great. It has a great variety of everything. My favorite food specifically is our mantu. We have like uh, many different ethnicities so you can find like a lot of different cultures there and we have like a variety of dancing and music styles so I think that's pretty cool. It's such a diverse country and it's not something that like you can look at a person and be like oh they're Afghan because there's so many diverse looks, so many diverse ethnicities, languages. So I guess that's the fun fact about Afghanistan. It's so diverse. So what are some events that we can uh, anticipate for this year? We definitely have our Nowruz event coming up, which is the Persian New Year that's coming up soon in March. March yes. Yes. And we also have um, more informational nights, so there's a lot of like issues going on in Afghanistan, like women's rights, um, children educating women and children, so we have like guest speakers coming in. We want to have social events like this one, where we really get to meet new people, like Afghans, non Afghans, just really get to make friends yeah. and connections. And also, I really want to focus on educational stuff this year as well. So like mental health is super important to us, um, women's rights, and the lack of it in Afghanistan. Um, we also want to do fundraising stuff. So there's a lot of people in need in Afghanistan. And it's often a country that's overlooked because there are wars happening in other places, right? But because we've had war for so long, like over 30 years, we kind of get forgotten about, but we're still, like that country is still struggling. So we really want to bring a focus back to Afghanistan and its troubles. Um, yeah, so events like that, like we're, we're planning to bring in speakers and also just motivate Afghan youth and tell them, like, listen, like, I know you guys come from a war-torn country, but, like, you can be successful. So. 